Curry, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Webull for successful online trading. Now, if you don't currently have a Webull account, I suggest you sign up. I have a link to Webull in the description of this video. When you sign up using my link and deposit just $100, Webull's going to send you two free stocks worth up to $1,850. So let's talk about what we're going to set up today. There are three things that we're going to use. Number one is something called exponential moving averages or EMAs. The reason we're going to set these up is because very often stocks will follow the EMAs and they'll bounce off of certain EMA lines, such as a 21 day EMA, 50 day EMA, 100 day EMA, etc. The second thing that we are going to set up today is something called RSI or relative strength index. This is an oscillator and when the number drops below 30 it can indicate that a stock is oversold and about to turn around and start going back up. When the number gets over 70 that can indicate that a stock is overbought and will turn around and start coming back down. The third thing that we are going to set up today is something called a MACD or moving average convergence divergence and this has three parts to it. It has a histogram which are some bars. It has two lines, which is a short-term line and a long-term line. And the MACD can give us a very early indication as to whether or not a stock might be starting to turn around. You can very often see a turnaround on the MACD histogram before it ever even shows up on the chart. And so we are going to use these three indicators. And typically when you're trading, you want all three indicators to be in agreement before you buy or sell a stock. So. Let me show you how to set all three of those up on Webull. All right, the first thing that I want to do is show you guys how to make changes on the market screen. This is the little globe with a circle around it. And some of you guys have asked how to change some of these out. Now, first of all, if your screen isn't big enough, you're not going to see all of this. But uh, for whatever you do see, all you have to do is click on any widget and then click add a widget and then select whatever it is that you want to add. Once you've done that, the next step is you're going to select what you want and then whatever you don't want, just right click on here and then come down to remove whatever the widget is, in this case options. So that's how we add or remove widgets from the main market screen. You can also move these around and drag them up and down and you know however you want to lay this out. It's entirely up to you. All right, let's get into the stock side of things. Now, on stocks, there are three different things we're adding. The first is going to be called exponential moving averages. If you don't see EMA up here, go to all indicators and then go down to EMA and click it. The next thing you need to do is we need to set it up to get our lines correct. So you're going to come over to, you see your EMA here, you're going to click this little icon right here. And then what you want to do is you want to change your inputs to 5, 10, 21, 50, 100, 200. The next thing you need to do is you're going to come over to style. And when you first get in here, the only thing checked is going to be EMA, 5. So what you want to do is you want to uncheck that and you want to check 10, 21, 50, 100, 200. So it should look like this. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause this video at any time to review what I just said. Okay, once that's all set up, you click done and you'll have your EMAs. The next thing we need to do is add our RSI. Now the RSI is very easy. You just click RSI. By the way, you need to be on this indicators right here in order to see this. If you're starting out in drawings, you're not going to see any of this. So make sure you are on indicators. The next thing we need to add is the MACD. All we have to do is come up here and click MACD. Now again, if you're not seeing any of this, just click all indicators and scroll through and just add whatever it is that you're missing. Okay, the next thing is sometimes these will be too big, too small. You can just kind of adjust this down and up. If you want to see more of the chart, less of the uh, indicators, however you want to do it. Uh, the last thing is also sometimes you're going to start out with the lines. And so you want to make sure you're on candles so you can clearly see candles. So what you want to do is you want to click line style and then go over to candle. And that's how you'll get that set up like this. So. If you follow that, we have line style candle, and then we have our indicators, and we have our EMA, RSI, and MACD. And then, of course, you just have to change the EMA to do 5, 10, 21, 50, 100, 200. And then the style, select these five, and that's it. You are set up and ready to go for trading. It is literally that easy. 
Like I said, Weeble is very easy to use. It's very easy to set up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I hope you have a lot of success trading.